there was a group of uh, researchers that followed high school or they followed college graduates um, after they graduated, those that took out loans at different amounts, and they surveyed them at different points in their life to figure out how much of a burden the loans, their student loans were on them after graduation. And they wanted to find that threshold by, uh, beyond which student loans became a burden. And they did. And they found that it was about 8%. And what that means is your payments on your student loans should be 8% or less. So keep it to less than 8% of your post-graduation income. So this requires a couple of really important things to think through. First of all, what do you think you're going to be doing when you get out of college? If you don't know yet, then taking out six figures in loans for a job you're not sure what it is, is probably not wise. If you don't know what kind of salary you're going to be earning on the other side of your college degree, then taking going into debt to get that college degree might not be a great idea. But if you do know, if you're determined, if you know what you want your job to be, you have some sense of where you want to go and you're intent on getting there, then what you can do, we actually created a calculator and um, there's a link to the paper that I wrote with my colleagues, Christine and David. Um, and in that paper is a calculator. And this is what the calculator looks like. And the calculator will tell you based on how much the student expects to earn in their first year after graduation. So this is starting salary, not 10 years down the road, starting salary in their new job. What is the expected salary for them? And then how long do you expect the repayment period? Do you want to pay them off in five, 10 or 20 years? Those are the typical repayment periods for college loans. And what interest rate do you expect to get? And we have some suggested interest rates based on averages um, in the calculator. Based on that, we will tell you what the maximum you should take in loans is in order to keep those payments to less than 8% of your post-graduation salary. 